Hi guys, welcome along to another video. Uh, this is just a quick one really for some software that I came across the other day. A lovely piece of kit, especially if you need to have uh, large displays or you know something like that. You're doing a, a project for work or project for um, school, college, anything like that. Or you just simply want to jazz up your uh, YouTube videos like I'm doing with this one really. Um, it's freeware. And you don't need to install it on your computer. It runs um, straight from the downloads folder. So it's like a portable application. I'll put the link in the description where you get it from. Okay. But I briefly wanted to show you about this. Now it comes down as a zip archive. Simply extract the zip archive. And then double click the extracted uh, archive to execute the program and then you will get what you see now you get this control window that comes up at first okay and you've got various options on here and you can alter the size of this thing if you move the pointer you see how it goes huge or you can you can set it to what you want really um, you can set the transparency so we can set it so that it goes so you can hardly see it or even completely don't see it um, we'll set it somewhere around about, around about there that's fine and then you've got various different images or textures that you can have you can have silver and it changes or um, red or or whatever you want really whatever whatever floats your boat really uh, i suppose you would alter that depending on the background that you were going to be working with on on your project that you're going to use it for now you can start it with windows there's various options here that you can take show stick up program start up um show this window minimize tray and then show or hide the stick you can either hide by triple mouse click control alt y control alt z um so it, it really is a nice piece of kit now i'm just going to close this 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 window off a little bit and this is the where we get it from here okay it's lovely for pointing out and you see how easy that how lovely and easy that is to read now and point it the only thing i've got against it really is you still maintain your mouse pointer i would think that it would be a bit better if the mo the mouse pointer wasn't there and you just had the stick but it's a small price to pay really <clears throat> so we're looking at softwareok.de and download pointer stick from there okay that one there download pointer stick some really nice software in here so it's worth having a, a quick look at it and it does work cross window it doesn't just work on there as well so we can we can work on cross window as you can see on there and if at any time you want to you'll notice that when i move the move it down to the bottom how the mount how it, the, the pointer changes as well and if I, if I want to bring the um window the control window back up again all i do is simply click on the icon left clicks fine on the on the icon in the uh, system tray and that brings back up the uh, control again so it's a nice piece of kit to have uh, as i say you can use it for lots and lots of different things and like i've already explained you can change it to whatever well there's, there's not whatever you want but there's quite a few different images and textures on there that you can use for this and i thought this would be quite a fun thing for one or two of you guys who may want to play about with this okay so there's not really much else I can tell you about this, except uh, when you want to shut it down completely, I'd use Task Manager. I couldn't find anything in there to shut it down. You can hide the stick. I can simply hide the stick by triple clicking or by uh, pressing Control, Alt and Y, and the stick will vanish like that. So I've just pressed the Control, Alt, Y, and uh, that's how it comes back. Come back again like that. Simple, simple as that. Uh, or as I say, a triple mouse click will do it as well, or a Control, Alt, Z. So you can, if you wanted to um, do something that's not distracting with that, you wanted to highlight that bit, for instance, without having the stick there, you can do that. And then if you wanted to highlight sort of over here somewhere like that, you just bring back your stick. And of course, obviously, your stick does alter in size, depending. The bigger sizes would be probably better on such as um, huge TV screens or projectors or something like that. So anyway, guys, I think that's uh, about it for here. I just thought I'd point that out to you. Again, I will put the link in the description. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll do some more in the future. Please rate and favourite the videos. And if you like it, subscribe to our video channel. We do have lots and lots, in fact, thousands of tutorials on our site. We'd love to see you on there. Even just as a guest to, to pop along and get some information. 
we've got lots on there and if you want to join and have some fun with some of our fun games and things on there then please do so we'll love to see you thanks a lot for watching and bye for now